Hey guys, we are looking at the Fall of the Republic quest. This is the third set in the Find the Force event. Um, and hopefully by completing this one, you'll be able to unlock the Sith Infiltrator um, glider as well. So let's get into it. The first one we're going to be looking at is help defeat Darth Vader. Remember, you don't actually have to kill Darth Vader in this one. You just need to do damage to him to do that. If you can actually kill him, it's even better because at least that way you can guarantee that you're going to complete this mission. But that's it guys, just get stuck in, run away if you have to, kill him if you can. Eliminate clone troopers, two of them need to die for this one. And three of those locations have guaranteed clone troopers there, although I think they have been spotted in other areas off the map. Land there, fight and kill them. These guys will attack you on site, so be very careful with that. And remember, these are going to be hotspots because everyone's trying to do it, so you will have to fight other players while you're doing that as well. But should be relatively okay to do. Slide distance with a lightsaber or DC-15 blaster equipped. You can't have it in your inventory, it has to be in your hands, otherwise this won't count. A simple run, hit your crouch button, you'll automatically slide, do it down a slope and you'll manage to get your 25 meters very, very quickly. Deal damage to opponents while sliding or crouched. Total 250 damage needs to be done to complete this one. And this is against opponents, so Darth Vader and high card bosses and the like will count towards this as well. Just make sure that you are crouching. It's probably the easiest one to do rather than trying it with sliding. And it should be achievable for everybody. Use ascenders or zip lines at night. You need to do this three times, which means you need to wait till it gets dark in the game. Be near one of these and use it three times. You can jump on and off it and it'll do exactly the same thing and it'll complete for you. A reasonably easy one, it's just about timings. Deal damage to opponents from above. A total of 66 damage to be done to complete this one. Any height difference whatsoever as long as you are higher than your opponent and you'll be able to complete this one absolutely no problem at all. As you can see here, not much of a slope on this but because I am higher while hitting them, it's counted towards the completion of this quest. Eliminate enemy players in a single match. You need to kill three other players. Opponents will not count, so that means Darth Vader and high card bosses. Easiest to do this is going to be at one of the clone outposts. You'll have to contend with clone troopers and other players while you're there, but it's going to be the easiest way to get this one. Then if you can survive that, you'll hopefully pick off the three players. If not, you'll get them through the course of the rest of the game. Damage opponents with a lightsaber or melee weapon. Total of 250 damage needs to be done. Two weapons or three weapons you can use this with is the lightsaber, the kinetic blade, or your pickaxe harvesting tool. Um, and those are going to be the three ways to cause the damage. For me, the easiest way to do it is with the lightsaber, as it, you've got the ability to use your force jumps and things like that there, but also you're able to block and come and fire while you try and get close to them. And I managed to do the 250 by knocking a player and then actually doing the additional damage to knock them down. This is in duos and above it. If it's solos, as soon as you get them down to zero, that's it, they're done. Damage enemy players within 10 meters. Um, this is all everything up close and personal. So shotguns and whatever weapon you've got, lightsabers, kinetic blades and the like. Um, I'm not going to show you every single one, but this is the last person I killed to do it. Easily within 10 meters. Do it in duos and above so you can actually cause a bit more damage to them. Tried to be a bit cocky and throw them off the cliff here, but it wouldn't let me. Um, but anyway, as soon as he dropped, did the additional damage from close up range and that's an extra 100 damage as well. Do that to a total of a thousand and you'll complete this quest. Eliminate enemy players with a lightsaber or melee weapon. Um, that's the lightsaber, the kinetic blade, potentially the harvesting tool. I didn't try it out to see if that counted towards this. Use the lightsaber because you have more options with it with your force abilities and the force jumps, which makes it a wee bit easier for getting around. And in my opinion, it does more damage than the kinetic blade. Kinetic blade as well is quite slow to activate. Um, and I think the lightsaber is a far better weapon in comparison. All you need to do is kill five players, as you'll see in this video, and it will complete for you. Thank you. 
damage enemy players beyond 20 meters similar to the damage enemy players within 10 meters except this one is fully at range need a thousand damage to complete this one i'm not going to show you the whole 1000 just the last couple of kills to get you over the line um, and just showing the quest completion coming through from that dc 15 blaster is pretty good it doesn't run out of ammunition it does overheat so as long as you control your firing you should be able to manage this one from range Hit headshots against enemy players. Five headshots in total need to be done to complete this one. Again, I'm just showing you the last couple that I did to complete this quest. No point bogging the video down. And that's it, guys. Drop a like in the video. Comments down below. Subscribe to the channel so you're kept in the loop for all of these reviews and completion guides going forward. Bye-bye.